The Emerging Online Groceries Due to COVID-19 Outbreak Life Before Coronavirus Before the coronavirus outbreak started, online grocery sales in the U.S. accounted for a small portion of the sector overall. With 3% of grocery spend happening online and around 10% of U.S. consumers using these services frequently. Thousands of small businesses have closed due to the coronavirus outbreak in the U.S. But one sector that's seen exceptional growth is online grocery delivery. This COVID crisis turned out to be one dramatic advertisement for the benefits of and the necessity of shopping online. More people are finding new ways to get their groceries that don't involve stepping inside the store. Fox 13's Sydney Glenn explains how that's creating new demand for people who do the shopping for you. This is the new reality of grocery shopping. Limited entry, six feet of distance, and low stock. One way people are managing? Grocery delivery services. Order online and poof, they're at your door. Well, how does grocery delivery actually work? Instacart is an online grocery delivery service that charges a fee to connect local grocery stores and its gig workers, who Instacart calls shoppers, with consumers. Customers pay a delivery fee based on the size of their order and how fast they want it delivered, as well as a 5% service fee plus an optional tip for the driver. Shoppers make money based on a somewhat complicated algorithm. Instacart also employs part-time shoppers it calls in-store shoppers, who earn an hourly wage. Unlike full-service shoppers, in-store shoppers don't deliver groceries to customers, but fill orders in-store and prepare them for delivery. Or some others. They're doing things a bit differently. They don't contract out their deliveries, but have staff in-house that pick the food. What is happening to the online groceries responding to COVID-19 outbreak? A recent survey of over 1,500 people in March found that 55% of respondents had purchased groceries online, up from just 36% in 2018 and 15% in 2015. So prevalent now, sometimes I'll be in a store and there are more Instacart shoppers than actual shoppers. Amazon's been the go-to service for grocery delivery in the past few years. But with demand skyrocketing because of coronavirus, third-party delivery services are also getting a chance to shine. The largest of these services in North America is Instacart. This is according to the information citing sources, and they say that it could be at a $12 billion or more valuation. Instacart last raised money back in 2018 at a nearly $8 billion valuation, so that is a significant step up. Hey there, John. You know, Instacart says new orders spiked by 300% last week, just adding to the growing frustration for shoppers as it's become increasingly difficult to get delivery times from leading services Instacart. Walmart, Amazon, and Peapod. Industry sales, they increased by 18% in the week before President Trump declared a national coronavirus emergency. And they're expected to be even higher when new data is released this week. Let me be clear about these grocery delivery services. They are under incredible pressure. Instacart says their growth from last year has been 300% last week. They're trying to hire 300,000 new shoppers. Same with Amazon and Walmart scaling up. So all of the grocers that we talk to are doing everything they can to keep their employees and their customers safe, all while dealing with low inventory. These folks are hustling, Robin. It's been crazy busy. I'd say 50% of my customers are all new customers since the pandemic. Even so, there are also some critical issues to solve. Loblaws says online orders have doubled in recent weeks, but cancellations are rare. Grocery stores and their delivery partners are working to catch up with that demand. But for now, they lack the staff and technology to keep up, says this food economics expert. These issues are purely a result of the demand that grocery stores are facing. They saw sort of slow, steady growth of online orders. All of a sudden, we've seen this huge spike and they've been overwhelmed in terms of the demand. And the population was buying online grocery prior to the uh, COVID issue, and today it's north of 30%. In addition, with all the restaurants closing, a vast majority of uh, in-dining food is now going to home, creating a surge in both grocery and online, so it's, it's pretty off the charts. Amazon, Walmart, and Instacart have all been on a hiring spree in an attempt to squash delays. But such rapid expansion is challenging for any company. How does online grocery keep up with this current situation? About 1.5, 1.7% of all the food sold 
by grocers right now uh, across the country and that is sold online so it's not much but it is growing uh, anywhere between 30 to 40 percent a year. We have 150 of these vehicles. Which is why supermarkets like Save On Foods are rewiring their entire system to get a leg up on the grocery delivery business. It's also becoming competitive because if you're not doing it, it means that somebody's going to be stealing your customers that want that service. The challenge is that there isn't sufficient capacity in the delivery system to get 300 some odd million folks 21 years ago. The stores have got to remain a part of that. And whether it's Fresh Direct here in New York clearly serving part of that, so too do the grocery stores need to be a part of that all across the country, and they will. National chains like Whole Foods, Fresh Direct, and Instacart are struggling to keep up with demand for online orders, up 150% compared to last year. Amazon, which owns Whole Foods and other grocery delivery services, said help is on the way, writing in a statement, we're adding more delivery windows throughout the day and hiring over 100,000 positions across the U.S. and will continue to expand quickly to reach more customers. Fast and flexible will let customers place an order and have it fulfilled by the first available shopper. Customers are then given an estimated delivery range, the company says, normally within two days and are notified when that delivery happens. Order Ahead allows customers to place orders up to two weeks in advance. The prior window was seven days. There are no restrictions on size and contactless delivery is available for both. Today, 90% of customers across North America are able to get Instacart same day. And that's basically back to pre-COVID levels. Uh, and we will continue to onboard new, new uh, personal shoppers to serve even more of the growth that we're seeing. I guess I think about two challenges for Instacart. Uh, one is um, uh, scaling up as quickly as they can to meet this demand. Like it's a great opportunity, but you can screw it up, you can miss it if you don't, uh, if you're not able to build up that shopper base quickly enough. And the second one is just competition with that uh, Amazon and Walmart, uh, and uh, especially if you're going to have this uh, acceleration and adoption of online groceries. A lot of other people are going to want to get in on this opportunity. Instacart had to announce and go out and try to hire 300,000 new shoppers is probably the best evidence that they didn't have the infrastructure in place to handle the search and demand. To ease some of the pressure, Instacart has also added new features to its app to help customers easily find the first available delivery window and to allow them to order groceries two weeks in advance. Does it seem to keep rising? The online grocery market is an estimated $50 billion. But some experts expect it to shoot up to nearly $120 billion by 2025, with Instacart holding 19% of market share. And there are a lot of companies that want a piece of the pie. These include grocery delivery companies like Shipt, which is owned by Target, as well as Peapod, Fresh Direct, and DoorDash, to name a few. Then there are also meal kit companies like Blue Apron and HelloFresh, among others. Still, experts believe Instacart's biggest competition will come from the behemoth. Will it be continued? Once a luxury, the coronavirus has transformed Instacart and other delivery services into essential seemingly overnight. But will a pandemic be what it takes to make grocery delivery go mainstream? This has been a major potential customer acquisition uh, opportunity for the Instacarts of the world, the Amazon Freshes of the world. All consumers are turning towards them to try them out. They'll have some patience uh, for a uh, service that isn't 100%. I think, I think people will be somewhat realistic about that. But you know, if in a, in a month or two, if Instacart and Amazon Fresh aren't able to get their act together, you're gonna have a lot of people who will have tried the service, found it wanting, and will go right back to the grocery stores. Therefore, here are some tips on shopping groceries online. Well, some people say looking for delivery, try midnight or early morning. You can also load up your cart and then play Refresh Roulette, where you just keep refreshing your browser, trying to find a spot. And finally, next door, people are offering to shop for their vulnerable neighbors on that social media site. Overall, experts say expect problems with the sudden surge in demand for these services. Their advice when ordering groceries for delivery or pickup, plan weeks ahead. COVID-19 is spread through respiratory droplets, not food. And health officials say there have been no reports of the virus spreading by touching food packaging. But it can live on surfaces for several hours. So here's how you can make sure your groceries are safe. Wash your hands when you get home from the store. Don't forget your fingernails and the backs of your hands. You can use soap and water to wipe down hard surfaces. You can also wipe your containers if you want to. 
don't mix chemicals, you could end up creating toxic gases. A recent study found how long the virus survives depends on the surface. There's no evidence the virus multiplies or grows on items in a fridge, freezer, or cupboard. You can rinse your fruits and vegetables in cool water like you normally would. You don't need to wash meat, poultry, or eggs. Cooking kills COVID-19 and other microbes. Wash your hands after putting away your food and before preparing a meal. And the BC Centre for Disease Control says if you are sick with COVID-19, don't make food for others. A lot of this just comes down to basic hygiene, like frequent hand washing. But the riskiest part is at the grocery store, so make sure to stay two metres away from other people. What are consumers' thoughts towards online grocery service in this pandemic? You have switched to online grocery shopping. Some of you said you're frustrated by the extra long wait times. Other people said you love how simple it makes life.